As soon as I got off the plane, my dad was like, all right, we're in Mecca. We're already wearing our air homes and everything. Let's go do our first Umrah. I was just like, I'm not ready. I'm not ready, you're right? It was so busy. It was, I think, 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. before Fajr. The Kaaba area was full to the end, so you couldn't go in there. So we had to like walk around on the second or third floor. It was so wide. Um, so that took like two hours just itself. And we had like so many blisters and like- I feel like that pain literally just like, you just set it aside. Like it doesn't matter, right? It was worth it. Salam guys, my name is Musa. I'm uh, the Director of Professional Development. My name is Uzair. I'm the Director of Charity Services for the MSA. A uh, random day in March, my sister just came into my room and was like, we're going Umrah. I just knew I was going to be amazed and like it didn't disappoint because like the first time you look at the Kaaba, it's like, you can't describe it in words. But my dad was with me and my brother, so like they sort of like guided me towards and like um, they lifted me up, I think, because I was like pretty small mm -hmm. and I managed to touch it. The thing is, like my dad passed away like a year after that, so it was like the last time we sort of had like the family trip. So like it was like probably the last like meaningful trip I've had with my whole family like that. I felt at peace in a long time. The whole reason why this Umrah was really special for me was um, my best friend actually passed in February in a tragic car accident. I kind of forgot about all my responsibilities and my commitments that I had in my life at that moment. As I'm walking, my sister, she starts telling me to like put your head down because we're uh, approaching the Kaaba. So I didn't, I didn't really know what to do, right? As soon as I got my first eyes on the Kaaba, literally, I just burst into tears. Like, honestly, you get a teary eyed and like your heart feels heavy for some reason. It was a very surreal moment. All of the worry, all the trouble literally just got like stripped out of me. I kind of just sat there recognizing what I've been through the past couple years it really hit me hard. As soon as you enter the city of Medina, it's a totally different experience. It feels like whenever you're taking a step, right, you know that someone important in Islam walked there as well. It's very relaxing, you know, you go there any time of the night or any time of the day and you sit there and sweet Quran. Hearing the Azan like from like every pillar bouncing off the wall. I could stand for hours just like praying and stuff, like listening to their voice. Seeing the rush of people right before namaz, right? You're just like, what is happening? Our lives are continuously like moving so fast. Like my friend passed in February. It's been almost nine months, right? Which is insane to me. It creates a different perspective on life. Our time on this dunya is very short. You know, worship and do as much as you can before you're gone. That's like how it really feels now. That's why I'm trying to do whatever I can.